We're gonna learn about some real life superheroes. Oh. Yeah. And decide if they are in fact heroes or villains. villains. Okay, if it's a white woman. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen like the clip of like the dude who climbs like the scaffolding to like save like the baby that's hanging off? That's oh. like real life Spider Man. So we're talking about vigilantes. vigilantes. Like real life vigilantes. Yeah! Oh my god. My name is Phoenix Jones, and I'm the leader of the Seattle superhero movement. We Jeremiah, a lot of the really this is a real thing. I tuck my kids into bed. Okay. Dude. Shade and Phoenix talk to the victim's boyfriend. When out of nowhere, the pervert in question exposes himself, screams, Helicopter! <laughs> Phoenix Jones grabbing the pervert by his ear like a small child. Yo. Nice. By his nice. ear? Nice. The crowd Jones thought he was helping turned on him. He's walking around with a can of pepper spray? There have been increased reports of citizens being of pepper course. sprayed by oh. Jones yeah. and his group. Jones has had a history of injecting himself in these incidents. Well, he's a superhero, <laughs> duh. <laughs> well, he's gonna be where the crime is. That's not how you defuse a situation, you clearly. He was arrested for allegedly selling MDMA to an undercover police officer. Oh my god, color me surprised. <laughs> what? <laughs> so he's selling drugs and protecting the streets. He sets up the crime and then he goes <laughs> and stops it. <laughs> good intentions, not so good in execution. He he's doing a lot of good. Nah, uh, selling Molly, bro. Allegedly. 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 He also has like, maced a lot of people in the yeah. bay. <laughs> He's that okay, we're true. just gonna call him a villain. You're gonna call him a villain? <laughs> this guy could be in the next uh, Multiverse of Madness. Purple Rain, and I'm also Yo, they're working together. Of the I also founded the Purple Rain Campaign, which is a nonprofit that helps victims of domestic violence. Mm -hmm. We're definitely not vigilantes. Well. We have a team of lawyers that have kind of versed us in our law, so we know exactly oh, okay. how to intervene. So he didn't know about macing people? A victim of domestic violence, Purple Rain used her notoriety as Phoenix Jones's then wife to bring visibility to the cause. <laughs> Well, pause. Pause. Wait, 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 wait. She has since separated from Phoenix Jones and is now retired. Understandable. <laughs> yeah. There's no. so many better ways to raise money and awareness and mm. provide protection for women who, or people, who are experiencing domestic violence. She served more as the oracle for the team offering research and logistics. So why did she dress up? On the chair. <laughs> so why did she dress up? <laughs> she was enabling his behavior and the group's behavior as a whole, if not helping it. Mm. Do not use purple rain. I don't care how you're spelling it. I just think Prince would be offended. I'm gonna say hero. I as well. We'll give it a hero. Her husband is the villain, bro. We gotta balance it out. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. We first met Captain Australia a decade ago. A masked <laughs> man of mystery. The He's got sunglasses under the- Good day, mate. Yes. Good day. Oh my god. Nice. So nice. so oh my god, I love this guy. Yo, who's he, the best one? He's the best one. Walking by himself, unsupported, without any help, okay. sleeping rough, Australia. from Brisbane all the way down to Melbourne. That's almost 2,000 That's a long walk. I got a stage four cancer in 2016. Okay. Okay. So I found the Kids Cancer Project. Oh, massively oh this is great. Okay. Boom, done. He is the best one. Yeah. Like after hearing that, he's the best one. Cause he overcame. <laughs> Those agile cat-like moves. What does that have to do with this? Big walk. <laughs> He's actually Captain America's arch nemesis from the land down under. Villain! <laughs> no, this is very cool. Very cool. cool. I like yeah. it. Vibes. Is there a place to donate? There is. Not that I'm going to. I'm just curious. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Captain Australia. A little unoriginal on the name, but it's okay. Hi, I'm Master Legend. I've been a real life superhero for 30 years now, officially oh. out in the streets mm. fighting crime. Master and Legend. Deeds. <laughs> He's like the Winter Soldier. He's got one metal arm. Oh. He's in Rolling Stones. Not Rolling Stones. Just Google my name. Whoa! Whoa. He's got. That's so not good. Master Legend, hard boiled egg there. <laughs> he shoots eggs. Hard boiled he eggs. eggs at people. Bro, this <laughs> dude's a fucking hero. <laughs> it's excellent. <laughs> Iron Man, who? <laughs> Could you imagine you're like robbing someone and someone shot you with an egg? When right. people think vigilantes, I think they're all trying to be Batman, but none of, not a single one of them are billionaires. So concerning that Bruce Wayne would really go out in the night just to beat up people as a billionaire. You know what this is? It's just LARPing. I I'm gonna go with hero. Yeah. Because there was no inherent negative effect that we know of. Hey, he's uh, walking around with a beer going, hey, Google me. <laughs> like, that's, that's a lot better than some pepper spraying people. <laughs> valid, valid. Super Barrio. So, Super Barrio. Super Barrio. Super Barrio. Like superhero Such based out of oh, Mexico City. Voice crack. You won't see him kicking a criminal's butt on the streets. He's someone that is very prominent in civil disobedience movements. Mm -hmm. Okay. Contest. His character was a key figure after the 1985 Mexico City earthquake destroyed the homes of thousands of people. 
He was one of the biggest advocates fighting for affordable housing to get the people back on their feet. He's fought for several other causes like this and was quite the celebrity. I mean, well, like, affordable housing is a isn't like a crime. <laughs> he has created something larger than himself. So other people can don the don, don the yeah don the exactly. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Somebody else can put the mask on and do, yeah. and do the same thing. You can't, the same, you can't say this guy's a villain. <laughs> Name alone, I don't need nothing else. Tell me, tell me. Super Mario is a super hero. Uh, maybe, I feel like yeah. in Spanish, the barrio. Don't quote me on this. I don't even know how to say fo. Fa. 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 <laughs> Calls himself the Shadow Hair. No, the intro. Like a professional wrestler with a cape. Shadow Hair is actually a. This just looks like you're asking to get hurt. Offer. He looks like the Punisher. I was about to say that. Yeah, low key. The friendly neighborhood Shadow Hair, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's traded in one uniform for another. Okay. Now somewhere in the military. And that you know that pipeline kind of checks out. Yeah. <laughs> you can't remember like any MCU characters giving out a business card. <laughs> if you get in trouble, here it is. Here it is. He was severely injured in one escapade with a dislocated shoulder. He was also That's not a serious injury. At least this guy didn't get arrested. He's 21 years old. That's a barely pretty low bar. <laughs> He's not really a hero. <laughs> I'll put him right here. Yes, <laughs> in Switzerland. If I had to pick. I do I hero. hero. Yeah. The fact that he was able to put down the cape and go somewhere else, like the military, to go and serve, I think is an honorable choice. Red Bud Woman. I thought they said Bed Bud. I did say Red Bud. No, I thought they said Bed Bud. Handing out food and money to homeless oh. people that were begging on the streets. Okay, so now this is Six different. Months later, she was seen in Beijing, handed out blankets, food, uh, money, gifts, and jackets on one of the coldest nights of the year. She remains a little controversial because people have always questioned her motives. Oh. This stems from the fact that she wears skin tight, provocative clothing with a mask when she's carrying out her good deeds. Oh. Which has made many ask so? if she's only doing so this for what? Stop it. Stop it. That's what's stuff. put in the movies, oh, like the skin tight clothing. Onesies, so her tits, her tits are up to her chin. And? Instant villain. I mean, why don't you want to look good doing a good deed? If you're doing something for mm. attention, yeah. you're not going to be incognito. I understand when people get mad in the controversy of like people filming themselves helping homeless people. But at least they're doing it. Oh, she's a hero for sure. Yeah, she. I, I just can't say she's a... Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna give a hero. Hero she's, for she's sure. She's helping the needy. There's no violence. There's she's no not inserting people herself in situations. She doesn't have a fist with a cinder block. Right, punch right. Of a real life superhero from the UK called Night Warrior turned out to be anything but super. Yes. The name is fire, there though. Is. Yeah, Night Warrior Old is pretty sick. Roger Hayhurst mm. and his 18 year old girlfriend, Rebecca, aka <laughs> okay, Night Maiden. She too has retired. How do you see out of that? Although both of them retired after they were brutally attacked in 2013. Oh, okay. Whoa. This they looks like the most like the prepared super yeah. suit. Like if someone punched him, like it might not actually hurt him that bad. You playing catcher now? Yeah, hey, outfit's kinda cool. Stop it. Do not it's encourage cool. these people. <laughs> he doesn't want to be a superhero. Okay, cool. Um, unfortunate for the whole brutally attacked thing. I'm surprised that doesn't happen more often in these Ouch. stories. He was spotted by some locals who decided to test his fighting skills and he got beat up. <laughs> oh, so the armor doesn't work, confirm. Yeah, Wait, did they beat up the maiden going. too? No, I think they just beat him up. Oh my god, she was just watching this. <laughs> Don't the irony, she called the police. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've retired. Were you retired or did someone beat you up? Well, there was nothing behind that punch. It was this. <laughs> <laughs> See, I look like I can beat her up. Yeah, I yeah, would do hero. Because like... he's helping the homeless. He's patrolling around, mm -hmm. being a vibe. You're gonna dress like a superhero and walk out there? Someone's gonna try and- Which like, now, we're, we're not gonna victim blame. It's like, oh, I was beat up. Well, what were you wearing? <laughs> if you're a good Samaritan with a suit on, I'm gonna give you a hero. Yes, beat the. <laughs> oh, was he a villain for that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Because he let the crime Yay. happen. <laughs> you can't do your job, bro. Yeah, you Switch the lights no. off to help businesses during the, oh. Okay, I, I like this. Oh, they're turning the lights off? Weep. Why is the switch all the way up there? How do they turn it on? Perfect. That one was easy for him, obviously. I mean, that's just taking what you love yeah. and then doing something good with it, right? To me though, they are heroes because all the time when I'm driving, I'm like, dang, why do these stores use up so much energy to just have their lights on all night? Thank you for finishing Perfect. up with a solid hero story. <laughs>
Like, the business should be turning off their lights anyway, so they're just taking that extra step. Well, there's literally nothing wrong with this. This yeah. is fantastic. It definitely brings attention onto the energy crisis in Europe, because I didn't even know. I didn't know that that was a thing. As someone who used to do parkour, a perfect example of how you could utilize it outside of just, yeah. you know, moving efficiently through your environment as quickly as possible. And for someone uh, who currently does parkour, yes. I think it's something that I may add to my repertoire. <laughs> you were to be a superhero, what's your name? Captain Obvious. <laughs> Captain Obvious, hero or villain? <laughs> you yeah. notice none of them are black? Yeah, Phoenix Jones. You didn't realize? The f you who dealt Molly? D wait, I- Allegedly! Just, I Thank you guys for watching this episode on React. If you were a superhero, what would your name be? Let us know in the comments below. And be sure to let us know what you thought of these heroes and villains. As always, be sure to subscribe. Bye Bye. -bye. It's my favorite outro yet.